So this is going to be just a quick video to talk about quotes inside of CSS and HTML. Now there's actually a lot of different quotation marks. When you're typing on your keyboard, what you will see is things like this. The double quote character or the single quote character. It's like here. Here's a single quote and a double quote. Single quote inside of a couple double quotes. Those are the ones that you get on your keyboard as you're typing. But those really aren't supposed to be the ones that you'd use in text. The ones that you use in text are these ones right here. Depending on your language, you're going to have different ones. So quote and apostrophe. These two right here, these are the ones that you get on your keyboard. And these are the ones that programmers like myself tend to put inside of text. So if you want to have something else, if you want to have the actual curled quotes, the proper quotation marks, then this is how we do it. So I have here in my HTML, I've got a paragraph that's got a quote inside of it. So there's a quote and inside of the quote, there's a nested quote. So if I wanted to have quotation marks around the outside and some on the inside, that's what I'm doing right here. Then I've got three paragraphs, one with the class QT and then a couple with the Lang attribute. Now the Lang attribute is going to apply localization to these paragraphs. And you can see here that I've got double quotes happening on this one. And there's double quotes here, but these are the French double quotes, the two angle brackets like this. And it's not the angle bracket that I get on my keyboard. This is an actual French quotation mark, the double quotation mark. Down at the bottom, I've left a reference for you. I've got the left single arrow, uh, sorry, the left single quotation mark, the right single quotation mark, the left double quotation, the right double quotation. That's what these ones are right here. And these look a little bit like the uh, quotation marks down at the bottom. They are on a bit of an angle. This is with sans serif font. If you go to a serif font, you'll see that they're a lot more curled. And we've got these different ones here. Um, these ones, you can see there's down below. If you look at the bottom line of the text, you'll see this drops below the line and this drops below the line as well. And this is a double one. So you've got the single or the double, and then here's the French double, and these are the French single ones. So we've got all these different choices for how to apply them. Now, if I come in here and let's say I put quotation marks around this one word, while I'm using my keyboard to do this, I can copy and paste the proper character, but I'm not getting any localization. I'm just getting these keyboard ones showing up. So what we can do is we go into the CSS. In the CSS, we can, for any selector, so here's from my Q, and that's the quote right up here, and then there was a nested quote inside of it. We can define either two or four characters. So this is the outer pair right here. Here's the opening and the closing, and here's the opening and the closing for the inner one. We can use the Unicode character in hexadecimal as an escape um, sequence in CSS. So with the backslash then followed by the number, backslash followed by the number, and then for the inner set, you can copy and paste from here. You can put in the uh, escape sequence. Either way, doesn't matter. Then we define with the before and after pseudo elements. We set up the content property and there's a keyword, open quote and another keyword, close quote. So for every Q, we're saying what the opening and the closing characters are going to be, what the opening and the closing content is going to be. So we've got four and it uses whatever we defined with the quotes property. So that's this first one. With this second one, that's my QT class. I said, I just want to use the, the single apostrophes from the keyboard. Not a very good way to do it, but it does work. I mean, we can't actually put anything we like in here. I can have the letter A and then the letter B. If that's what I want to use for quotation marks, not a very good thing to do. Um, I can come in here and I will take this character right here as my opening. So instead of the A, I will place this inside of here. And you can see it is different. It's not a huge difference, but it is a different character. And then for the B, I will come down here and I'll take the right double right there. Copy that, come back up and replace the B with that. Okay. 
There. So I have the opening and the closing applied to here. Then for these two, um, just for the heck of it, I said paragraphs that don't have the class QT make them serif font. That's why these two are using a serif font as opposed to the sans serif used up here. And for P, lang, so any paragraphs with the lang attribute, I'm setting the content to open and close quote. And I didn't define quotes at all for these. You can see here, this is for the class QT, this is for the Q character, for the uh, quote tag. Here, I have not defined what I want the quotes to be, so it's going to rely solely on whatever I've defined as the lang, so they are localized. And that's it. So I will upload a copy of this file so you have it, and you can use this as a reference, uh, and then use this CSS as a reference as well. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.